Joe, um, you're heavily involved in planning this. Um, how does it help prepare players for maybe two years down the road when it's a really big deal, it's the NHL Combine? Well, in, in, in addition to the NHL Combine, the CHL-NHL Top Prospects game uh, executes the exact same test. So uh, the, the players are, from a short-term perspective, it helps them because it helps them to prepare for their summer training, which is very important. Mm -hmm. uh, but from a long-term, what, what we really suggest to these kids is go through the experience, enjoy it. That way, your, your first time at the CHL, NHL top prospects or the NHL combine, this isn't new to them. They can be a little bit more relaxed. Mm -hmm. They can perform at the highest level uh, in front of, I mean, here today we have 25, 30 scouts. Well, at the NHL combine, there's hundreds of scouts. Yeah. So they can perform ideally without too many nerves. And today there's one camera and there will probably be who knows how many cameras and they're at that event. But just talking to the GMs, they're, they're, it's kind of different how you can take in a tangible uh, piece of piece of information from a player so if a kid's not physically mature does that affect him in a negative or positive way whereas like hey he's still got room to grow yeah absolutely and, and and I think that's the unique part about this stuff is every one of our scouts and general managers do look at it in, in uh, one different way shape or form whether it's you know seeing how well a player tests or does not test what where are his strengths where are his weaknesses you know how hard does he prepare and, and push himself uh, away from the rink is he acting professional is he you know uh, polite is he you know all these sorts of things so there's all sorts of different levels yeah. of evaluation that are going on here and uh, every OHL team is, is taking something different out of it. and I guess I've heard people saying the word the term mini NHL and do you guys emphasize that are you proud of that very proud of that one of the things not only just here at this particular event but the entire league whether it's a great facility like the General Motors Center here or other 19 great facilities our style of play uh, the player environment, all of the things that we try to do uh, for our players is, is to create that very professional atmosphere. Uh, we know that not all of them will play in the National mm -hmm. Hockey League, but uh, a lot of them should uh, be entitled to that opportunity to play in an atmosphere that's very much like the NHL, and we are very proud of that. And I guess you guys have the scholarship program if they do play a few years, but uh, how do you think that this has affected the draft? Do you think there are any players that have have moved up or moved down significantly because of what they've shown here or does their play in their minor midget years still trump all? That trumps all. That's the dictating one for sure. Um, not often at a combine does a player's stock drop, but at a combine a player's stock could easily rise. So mm -hmm, there's yeah. players here that, that, you know, maybe they lost in the first round or, or did not qualify for the OHL Cup. And uh, Scout has the chance here to, to, to see him. They've seen how, you know, how prepared he is on an off ice. They watch him in the game situation. And they say, hey, there's something here with this particular player. And we have seen that happen where a player's stock has risen uh, because of their participation here. All right, great. That's all I need. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Joe. And yeah, I appreciate it.